a one or three milliliter syringe is used to administer an IM injection. Typically, vaccines are not a thick liquid, so a 22 to 25 gauge needle is used. The appropriate needle length can vary. A supply of needles in lengths appropriate for the patient population should be available. For an optimal immune response to occur, the vaccine must reach the desired tissue site. For an intramuscular injection, the tissue site is muscle. To reach the muscle, the correct needle length and gauge must be used. The vastus lateralis muscle on the anterior lateral thigh is the preferred site for infants younger than one year of age. For the majority of infants, a one inch, 22 to 25 gauge needle is sufficient to penetrate the thigh muscle. For very young babies, those younger than 28 days old and preterm infants, a 5 8 inch needle is usually adequate if the skin is stretched flat between the thumb and the forefinger and the needle is inserted at a 90 degree angle. The vastus lateralis muscle on the anterolateral thigh is the preferred site for toddlers 12 through 35 months of age. To penetrate the muscle, use a 22 to 25 gauge needle at least one inch long. The deltoid muscle in the upper arm can also be used if the muscle mass is adequate. A 5 8 inch needle is adequate only for the deltoid muscle and only if the skin is stretched flat between the thumb and forefinger and the needle is inserted at a 90 degree angle to the skin. The deltoid muscle in the upper arm is the preferred site for children 3 through 18 years of age. For most children in this age group, a 22 to 25 gauge, 5 8 to 1 inch needle is sufficient to penetrate the muscle. In general, older children and adolescents require a 1 inch needle. The vastus lateralis muscle is an alternate site if the deltoid muscle cannot be used. A one to one and a quarter inch needle will be sufficient to reach muscle tissue in older children and adolescents.